All right, <clears throat> this will be a refresher for most of you. Um, I'm just going to export this Rhino file to bring it into Revit, and I'm going to export it in different parts. So I'm going to maximize my perspective here. Um, <clears throat> I've got a top that's blue, I've got a side, a side, and then I also have just a surface. So I'm going to go ahead and select this top part, go to File, Export Selected, and I'm going to export it as an SAT, and we'll do it as top. Click Save, yes. Click OK, and repeat for the other pieces. Now by doing these individually and inserting them individually into Revit, I will then be able to either delete them or, ha or apply different materials to them. So, okay, so that is done. So that's the export process. All right, so now for the import process, I'm just gonna go ahead and open family. So this is a conceptual mass family, and I'm going to import those objects that I exported from Revit into my Revit file. All right, so pretty simple. Again, you've done this before. Insert, import CAD, file type of SAT, navigate to the folder, I'm going to select the base first and I'm going to use origin to origin. In my Rhino file it was centered around 0, 0 and this way each one of these pieces will come in correctly. So origin to origin, open, there it is. And then immediately after I bring it in I go to the manage tab, object styles, imported objects, change the name of it, base, and update the material. Although this is not as important, it's just helpful to do so. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate the default material, rename it to material base, and right now we'll just change the shaded color to red for right now. Go OK. Go OK. And then you just do that for the next pieces. So I'll, I'll just do that. Import CAD. Top. Origin to Origin. Open. And then I'm going to skip the material part for right now but I will rename them because if you do not rename them they will all come in as the same zero layer and you will not be able to um, put separate materials on them. Okay, so again insert, import CAD, do the wall, origin to origin, open, go to the manage, object styles, imported objects, update that one, wall and finally for the surface. So here's where origin to origin really comes in handy because now all of those pieces are in the correct place. So finally and okay and done. Alright, so that's the first part, just getting it in there. Now you can see you can also select them as separate individual pieces, which is also helpful.